Good morning, software engineers. It's quiz day. Okay. So, um, I want to talk about quiz four just for a few moments. Um, and also talk to you about sprint checks this week. So let me jump over to a browser window. So for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I have posted much more information about the weekly sprint checks. Um, this right here being for this week, sprint check four. Uh, there was a question on Piazza, which is totally legit. Um, I had mentioned at the very beginning that I was thinking about dropping a sprint check just because of the timing and everything. And after I talked to the TAs and we thought about it more, we would rather have consistent check-ins with the teams every week just to see how things are going rather than to say, oh, go work for two weeks and we come back. So instead of thinking about, oh my God, I have so much I have to get done for the next sprint check, it's more... Well, we've ramped down the expectations of the sprint check, but we just want to keep making sure we're making that weekly contact to make sure things are still moving forward. You might think six of one, half dozen of another, but I think this is probably better in the long run just because we don't want to lose touch with everyone. We want to make sure that if there are any problems, well, if there are any bigger problems, I guess, that we can kind of address them as we, as we go. So remember, for your sprints, focus on major functionality okay i know a lot of you had some really cool features that you wanted to put in there if you get them in there that's fantastic but don't don't worry about those right now we're kind of looking at you know how is your team working together um how are you managing this situation um work on getting the major core functionality going and then we'll kind of go from there now i haven't filled in yet how we're going to do beta testing yet i i, I know how we're going to do it it's just the mechanism of having people sign up for which teams you're going to beta test for, I haven't figured out exactly yet. So those will be updated a little bit later, but for the next few weeks, at least for sprint checks four, five, and six, you can see them right now on the schedule. Um, I have done a little bit better also about uh, getting everything now more up in the schedule. It took me a little over a week to figure out where I needed to post everything. Um, but it is all here. Okay. I haven't posted quiz four yet because I'm recording this video before I post it chicken and the egg one comes before the other so um make sure you take a look at all this also note that i'm going to continue doing my live q a streams tuesdays at 11 a.m and if you want to talk to me personally please just drop me an email we'll go from there all right let's talk about the quiz so for quiz four for architecture and design um the instructions are basically the same i add a little bit more here don't copy paste any text please just i know we're at home i know this is open note but come on you can Show me that you've earned some your experience here. So, um, yeah. So, the first question is about coupling and cohesion. Here's a UML diagram. Does it have high or low coupling? Does it have high or low cohesion? And how do you know? What are your What are your examples? What are your claims? So, uh, make sure you answer this question on this page below the document. Same thing goes for all the other questions. Please answer them on the page that I give them to you so that it's read correctly into Gradescope. Um, a design pattern is an accepted solution to a known problem in your own words. Describe the problem REST is trying to solve. And then I want you to do some internet hunting. We did a little bit of this in class, but now you're going to do it on your own. Um, find a web application you believe is RESTful and provide an argument why you think it is RESTful. Uh, explain the advantages of three-tier in the context of your project specifically. A little bit different there. Um, and... Uh, what would happen if, what are the advantages of three tier if you scaled up to a much larger project? Question four, why do we care about making good software modules? Now, then I want you to identify a module that you could have, should have, or did put into your system, into your project, and why um, you think it's, it's a good module and what the advantages of having that as a module. And then I'm asking you to do, just like on the guided practice, just like every other guided practice we've done, it appears on the quiz, do a functional in an OO decomposition of this system right here. Now, for the OO, I want you to do, to model the system. And for functional, I want you to pick a feature, just like we, we did for the other example. Now, I give you a lot of information here. There's a few red herrings in here. Um, I do want to just make sure I point out that you are specifically working on the Android app, running on the Pixel phone, running on this drone device. And then the two diagrams go on the next two pages. So, um, I... Again, tried to change the questions to make them more at homey as opposed to you are doing them, you know, in the room. So, yeah, a week, full week to do it. You know, do a question a day or something along those lines. Um, 
yeah. So if you have any questions, post privately on Piazza. Um, some of them will answer. Some of them we won't. It just kind of depends on the type of question it is. I uh, hope things are going well with your with your project. I look forward to hearing from the TAs about your first set of sprint checks in this new world. Come say hi on Tuesday and let's chat about stuff. Oh, your guided, pra your guided practice F. We are returning those very, very soon. I know you probably want to see it before you do those questions. I made an oopsie when I was assigning it to the TAs. Um, I only assigned half of the questions to be graded and that's totally my fault, but we will get those back to you in the next day or so. So you can work on the other parts of the quiz. Then when you get back the, your feedback on the guided practice, then you can reference that when you're doing the um, question on the quiz. So there you go. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It was a beautiful weekend. Uh, looks like we have another few beautiful days ahead of us. Um, miss you guys as always. See you in the next video. Bye.